Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jules and like the title says, I did accidentally buy a Japan crate. I had absolutely no intention to buy it. It was really, really early in the morning. I was not there mentally and I got an email from Japan crate saying 30% um, off for like Father's Day or something. I just want to see how much it would cost me because it it's a big conversion between American and Canadian dollars and I want to see how much uh, shipping would cost me. And usually it's near the end before you go through a transaction. I went through the transaction without realizing it and bought a Japan crate. So hence this unboxing video, which I really hope you guys are going to enjoy because candy and sweets right now do not fit in my diet, but let's do this. <laughs> so this is a crate. This is the July crate. I got it in June and they always do like a month in advance for crates. This all looks super, super pretty. So this is the card that comes with your Japan crates. As you can see, it says July Sugoi crate. And inside is a pamphlet with all the snacks that you have. Since everything is technically written in Japanese on the packaging itself, uh, they give you this with translations with what they are and what the flavor is supposed to taste like. Like the caramel corn called Pritanabata, which is like a, um, a summer celebration. I'm not sure exactly what the celebration is, but I think it's just like a summer celebration. Our favorite caramel corn is back. This edition features a limited time Tanabata packaging with characters dressed as Hikoboshi and Orihime. In addition, star-shaped caramel corn is added to the usual curly-shaped mix and depending on how many are in the bag, it's a specific fortune. How many were in your bag? So that's kind of interesting. I actually really like caramel corn and I didn't realize I liked it until I got a Japan crate um, years back and I had gotten a crate at some point that came with like six of them. Um, it was awesome. It was really, really good. So this, this looks like a regular candy. Like any kind of candy you could buy in the store. What does this say? This is mini monster gummy fruit taste. A fruity soft candy with a refreshing acidity. The perfect combo for our buds. So this is what it looks like. And I could also peel it if I wanted to. Well, it's very sweet. And it is pretty um, fruity. I am getting hints of sourness right now it probably is a slight slightly better than the ones we sell here which are the regular ones are like all red or they do have um multicolored ones like this and usually i don't go for these type of candies but this is not bad so the next one which is i'm guessing just a lollipop assorted fruit flavors ice stick so literally just a lollipop Apple Kit Kats. So I don't like Kit Kats in general, um, but I have liked the Japan ones because they're very, very different. I like the fact that they have flavored ones. And I've tried in the past a matcha, which was actually really, really good. I tried a Sakura one and I wasn't too crazy for it. And I believe I tried sake one as well, which was not good. That's the packaging. It doesn't smell like apple, not even a little bit. So it tastes like a regular Kit Kat with a hint of apple. It's not bad. I mean, would I go out of the way to buy it? Probably not, but it's in my box. So I probably will eat the entire pack. Not sure what this is. What this is? This is called Black Thunder Cocoa 72%. There is a very high chance I am not going to like this as I do not like dark chocolate. Not sure what side this goes. I'm going to assume like this. It's a little triangular pack. This is, oh, lemon candy. When life gives you lemons, like in this petite pack, eat them. Featuring a sweet and sour lemon candy. It's the perfect quick treat. That sounds really interesting, actually. <laughs> Though I'm not too crazy for sour, so I don't know how that's going to go. This is macaron. A heavy and thick taste graceful seasoning is one of the things we have to most treasured. That's literally what is written on the packaging. I thought they were peanuts. They clearly are not. But macarons are also known as macaroons. In Japan are a popular confection. There are some which substitute peanut, 
peanut flour for almond flour like in traditional macarons and use a wagashi style flavoring. Try Japan's take with this treat. That sounds interesting. This is the next one. Little grape flavored candies. I'm going to assume they're just like gummies. Grape candy using mellow and refreshing grape juice. These square shaped gummies are soft with two Okay, so I've had this in the past, um, in past grades, and I think I had like an orange flavor. It was pretty good. It's a Hello Kitty marshmallow, I think. It's a tiny, cute packaging. It really is like a little marshmallow. Ooh, Hello Kitty and friends are sharing your sweet, pillowy marshmallow filled with a choco filling. Okay, that sounds great. I love when marshmallows have like a flavor inside. Kind of like mochi with a uh, bean paste in it. Those are fantastic. Ninjala Candy. I downloaded this game and have not played. It's free on the Nintendo eShop. It reminded me of Splatoon and it's why I downloaded it. I didn't realize there would be candy for it. Ninja Chewing Gum Grape. Okay, so it's just like a gum. Like little gums you could like buy in store, but obviously we can't get this here. And there's like two little tablets. Kiwi Gummies. And you can literally just see it's like straight gummies. I like little packs like this. They're so cute. And it has like a little Ziploc. So if you don't finish everything right now, you can just save some for later, which is great. These are super fun. These are the DIYs. So the do-it-yourself candies. Um, I'm going to assume the instructions are in this packaging. At least I hope so because I did not read a word of Japanese. Explore what fun flavor is created when mixing grape and pineapple jelly with this fun DIY. Make each flavor separately and then voila, what you taste. Okay, so there's some sort of instructions in the back. I'm going to have to figure that out and hope for the best. <laughs> Japan potato. Okay, so these are just potato chips. And usually uh, Japan has a lot of um, wacky flavors. Grilled seaweed. I like seaweed, so hopefully these are just like salty-ish. Pringles and their ramen flavor. I am really excited for this. I remember seeing announcements for this one, um, so I'm very, very excited on how this is going to taste. Let's try one and see how it is. Well, it's a bad start. I don't really like the smell. <laughs> it kind of just tastes like a shoyu broth. If you guys have had ramen, shoyu is basically um, soya sauce base. It kind of tastes like that, and it's actually pretty good. Ring pop. I have not seen this in a couple years. Um, it's very just a ring pop. Does it say the flavor? Cola candy ring. Okay, so this is Coke flavor. That has to be pretty funny. Mochi, except their banana flavor. And I hate bananas. I don't like the smell. I don't like the taste. Uh, I put them in my smoothies just because they're like healthy but I would never just eat a banana for fun and I love mochi I'm very sad it's banana flavor these I really really enjoy I've had this twice in past crates and I love them they're flavored stick it's kind of like a breadstick but not as heavy this is the Tokyo limited umaiwa only available in the Tokyo area this umaiwa snack stick combines a refreshing sweet and sour taste of apples the flavor of cinnamon and the crispiness of pies all in one that kind of makes me really disappointed and scared because you kind of expect this to be salty and flavorful and not sweet the caramel corns and this time it's a massive bag which makes me really really happy because caramel corns are amazing. And the last thing is this drink. Mega Pachi. Is this coffee? It's an energy drink. Super Mega Pachi is here. This hybrid energy drink features the delicious taste of energy drinks with 130 milligrams of caffeine, 300 milligrams of arginine. I'm going to die. <laughs> I don't drink energy drinks ever. I don't even drink coffee. Um, I like cold coffee if I were to go to a Tim Hortons or um, a Starbucks. Hey, um, so you're probably wondering why I am dressed differently. Like I mentioned in this video, I had a Logitech that I had used for like a good couple of years. It was great, but then when I upgraded my PC, for some reason the software did not want to work properly with my brand new PC, which I had just newly built in January. So I had to upgrade my webcam and now i have a razor keel so this video i have actually recorded back in july and I, there were so many issues with it that i had to edit out a bunch of glitches if i left some in there i'm really sorry i tried to cover as much as i could and the ending was 
terrible. It was unusable. Most of it was frozen. I had no audio. But this is the last time where I'm going to do an impromptu ending. I'm really sorry about that. I really hope it doesn't impede your enjoyment of this video. So off the top of my head, the snacks I enjoyed the most was the Omaibo. It was sweet, not salty like I'm used to. But it was so good and I just loved that flaky, crunchy texture. I wish there was more than one in, in crates. It's so damn good. I want more. And I wanted more when I was eating it and I was so sad when I was done eating it. The chips were amazing. The seaweed chips was so good. It was so crunchy, like extra crunchy. Like I don't know how many times they baked this thing, but it was so good. Like I ate the entire bag in one sitting. Like I'm really sad I finished those, but damn were they good. The ramen Pringles were also insanely good. I was scared I was not gonna like because they had a bit of a smell. And usually if something smells kind of weird, I'm not gonna touch it, but I went through with them and oh my god, each bite I was just it's like eating ramen, but not really, you know? It had that soya flavor from when you're eating shoyu, but it was it was not like too strong and like Pringles, they're, they're nice, they have a nice crunch to it, but the flavor was so good and, and complex. I can't really explain it. It's not flavors we could find here and that makes me really sad because I mean, this is the only time I'll probably ever have it unless I go to Japan or if I'm just somehow able to find it online, which honestly I'm not gonna go looking for, but if I were to find it, I would definitely get another pack. My most favorite thing was definitely the caramel corn chips. I love that they gave me a really big bag of it and not little tiny ones. I had so much in it. It was fun having peanuts at the bottom of the bag, even though I didn't really eat the peanuts because I'm not much of a peanut fan. But the caramel corn chips, they're so good. They're like big and crunchy and airy. And I just love the sweetness of it. And I'm not someone who eats caramel corn ever, but these chips, I don't know what Japan does to them, but they're amazing and I love that they add them in every single crate. There was a dark chocolate bar that at first I didn't think I would like because I do not like dark chocolate, it was so bitter. But this was bitter, but there was sweet cookies in it, like actual round pieces of cookies inside the chocolate. So that was really good and I enjoyed it. I'm surprised to say that I actually enjoyed it. Would I actually go out of my way to buy one? No, but it was in my crate, so obviously I was going to eat it. My least favorite thing was actually the energy drink. The can was pretty damn cool and I had some high hopes for it, but in general, I'm not someone who drinks energy drinks ever. I'll stick to coffee or black tea, but I don't drink energy drinks, so maybe that's why I didn't really enjoy it. So I had my boyfriend who does drink energy drink try it and even he did not like it. So I don't know what was in it, but like we we each had like a zip or two and then I poured it in the sink and that made me really sad. And in the end I didn't keep the can because I was kind of scared of there being bugs that grow out of it even if I were to rinse it out. But because it was so humid during the summer, I was not going to take that risk. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys were able to enjoy it regardless of the little glitches and my weird impromptu ending. <laughs> I swear this is the last time it's going to happen. All my reviews are going to be recorded with my brand new camera and until now I have not had any issues. I'm going to post a whole bunch of links at the bottom where you can follow me and support me like Twitter and Instagram. If you guys want to come and see me live, I have a Twitch account where I stream almost every weekend, mostly Apex. I am not the best player, but it is so fun and addicting. And it would be so fun to have you guys come and chill with me. I have a Ko-fi account where you could come and support me. You don't have to, but if you want, you could donate whatever amount that you want. It is not an obligation. It's just there if you want to check it out. I also have an Etsy shop with my boyfriend with a ton of designs that we've done. And they're super cute and the material is so comfortable, just like this. So this is one of the many designs you could get on the shop. This one just happens to be my favorite because I love K-drama and I have this very weird obsession with it. So my boyfriend designed this based off my obsession and it actually looks insanely cute. And there's also the little Korean hearts, which I love so much. This is 100% cotton. There's many other designs right now because Halloween is literally right around the corner. Actually, it's a month off, but there's people who are already starting. There's a ton of new Halloween designs. So if you guys want to check it out, there will be a link at the bottom. And that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video, regardless of all the little quirks here and there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!